Hi, I'm Gail Banks. There are two popular ways of tuning, flash tuning and inline tuning. Flash tuning is when you use a device to rewrite the calibration information, the tune, on your vehicle's engine control module, commonly referred to as an ECM. Flash tuning is typically less expensive than inline tuning because all you need is a handheld device to upload the tune. Once it's uploaded, you can remove the tool and toss it in your glove box. The quality of the tune depends on the person who created it. There are some good ones and some bad ones, but all flash tunes can be detected by the manufacturer. In other words, they leave a footprint. Just like the FBI can see your dating history on your laptop, your dealership can see footprints left by a flash tune. Then you have inline tuning, which is what we're talking about today. Inline tuning means that the tuning module is in line or in series with at least one sensor. In this example, you can see that this fuel rail pressure sensor is sending information to the vehicle's ECM. An inline tuner intercepts that sensor's signal, alters the information, and sends that modified data to the vehicle's ECM. The ECM thinks it's still getting data from the sensor. It's got no clue the sensor's signal is being manipulated. And when you remove the inline tuner from the equation, it's like it was never there. So what exactly does a tune consist of? When you tune a diesel, there are two basic knobs you can turn, fuel and air. But beware, modern diesel vehicles using DPFs, diesel particulate filters, have some built-in limits you never want to violate. All four diesel pickups, 08 and up, all GM, 07 and a half and up, and all Rams, 07 and a half and up, have DPFs. The tuning limits are driven by the engine's air-fuel ratio and the maximum exhaust gas temperature, or EGT. Additional power requires additional fuel, and additional fuel requires additional air. Without adequate air, the air-fuel ratio becomes too rich, causing excessive combustion temperature in the cylinders and incredibly hot exhaust gas. The maximum safe EGT for continuous power output in current DPF-equipped engines is controlled by the ECM, the engine control module, to a nominal 800 Celsius or 1472 Fahrenheit. To prevent engine, turbo and DPF damage leading to premature failure, the ECM will not allow the exhaust gas temperature to go beyond 1472. This is typical of all modern diesel vehicles. If the tuner only injects more fuel, goes too rich, and drives the exhaust gas temperature past the 1472 red line, the ECM will cut its injected fuel amount. This will bring down the EGT and protect the engine. This happens within a few seconds and serves to emasculate the tuner by canceling out the fuel it's adding. This prevents the tuner from burning down the engine. But every time you throttle up and before the ECM detects the excessive EGT, you get a squirt of increased power. It's like a squirt gun filled with lighter fluid over a campfire. With these high temps, you also get big soot production, not to mention greatly increased NOx pollution and reduced fuel economy. So is there a tuner that gives you everything? Fuel control, boost control, real-time feedback? There is. It's called the Derringer, and the engineering team here at Banks spent thousands of man hours designing and testing it. Derringer is the only tuner on the market that controls fuel and air while making intelligent calibration decisions based on feedback from the ECM. Derringer is connected via your onboard diagnostics port and monitors all engine and transmission functions in real time. If EGTs go up, Derringer pulls back its power and keeps the temps in check. As your transmission is about to shift, Derringer pulls back power momentarily to keep the clutch packs safe. Go up in altitude where the air is thin, Derringer knows and adds boost to compensate. Cold engine, 
Derringer will not add power until it's at proper operating temp. It literally gives you everything in one small package. It's priced right, and it's emissions legal in all 50 states. Knowing everything you now know about tuning, I think you'll agree Terringer is the only logical choice.